Good afternoon. Welcome and welcome back to Reflection and Prayer Time on the second day of the new month. Yesterday we began a new month, the ninth month of 2022, the month of September. And today is the first Friday of the new month, the month of September. Thank you for your support of this wonderful weekly devotional ministry through First United Methodist Church here in West Alice, suburb of Milwaukee. I want to uh, praise God for giving me this opportunity to continue Friday reflection and prayer time for more than two years. And thanks be to God. On this uh, first Friday of the month of uh, September, I want to share a couple of verses from uh, Paul's letter to church in Colossae. And the name of the letter is uh, found in the New Testament. It's called uh, Epistle of Colossians. Epistle of Colossians chapter three. And I want to read verses 16 and 17. 16 and 17. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. I want to underline the word richly. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom. The second word that I have underlined in my Bible is wisdom. Dwell in you richly. Teach one another with all wisdom. And Paul continues to write, and as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the living word of God for all God's people, that God's people respond by saying, thanks be to God. Look at these uh, two words from, from Paul's uh, letter to one of the churches in the first century. Colossians chapter 3, verses 16 and 16 and 17. Richly, wisdom, singing spiritual songs, giving thanks to God the Father. Some of us uh, from our church, about half a dozen people, in the last uh, one year, <laughs> we have been part of a program called Thrive Team. And our focus has been on a spiritual exercise called Examen, E-X-A-M-E-N, e Examen. E this is a spiritual exercise established by Saint Ignatius of Loyola. So this program has been sponsored by a Roman Catholic institute called, educational institute called Market University here in Milwaukee. And the spiritual exercise called uh, examen has uh, five steps. The first step is pray for light. The second step is 
give thanks. And the third step is reflect on your feelings. And fourth step is focus on a feeling. And the last step is consider the future. Light, thanks, feelings, focus, and future. And the second step of this spiritual discipline or exercise called examen, give thanks. Every time we are invited and called to do this exercise, when we come to the second step, give thanks, gratitude to God, we have to consider two questions. These are the two questions before we consider the second step, give thanks. What gifts or graces have you experienced in the past? And name them specifically. For example, in the past week, the past month. And today we have come to a new month. So the last eight months of the year 2022, what gifts, what graces have I experienced during the past? And if you can name them specifically. So this morning uh, I have named some of them. The gift of encouragement I have experienced the gift of extending support to people in need, I have experienced. The gift of visiting people at home, assisted living homes, care centers, and other places, visiting with people and listening to their joys and concerns and their challenges and their problems and just be present with people in need. I think these are the gifts and graces I have experienced during the past eight months as I celebrate God's faithfulness in the new month, the month of September. And thanks be to God. The second question, for step number two, give thanks, is who have been particularly that you are grateful for when you think of the past? Who have you been particularly grateful for during the past week, month, the past year, eight months, in the year 2022. So I am grateful. I am particularly grateful to God for the following people, family, support, wife, children, grandchildren, and mother-in-law uh, is living with us, mother-in-law support, family support, I'm grateful to God for the family. Church leaders, I work in a church as a pastor, and there are so many leaders and volunteers who are wonderful source of support. When they say thank you, when they say I appreciate you, when they say hey, you have my support, wonderful, wonderful church leaders and volunteers. I am particularly grateful for. I am particularly grateful for people who handle information, communication, and technology to enhance the ministries of the local church. There are so many people that I am not gifted with technology. I do have some knowledge, but there are some people who are exceptionally gifted with technology, social media, Facebook, Instagram, website, YouTube, live streaming, 
PowerPoint, creating PowerPoint. I have some gifted people. Communication, I have some gifted people. I am particularly grateful, thankful to God for these gifted people in the areas of information, sharing information, communication, and technology. I am particularly grateful to God and thankful to God for my colleagues, experienced pastors, seasoned pastors, gifted pastors, friends here and everywhere, particularly for me in United States, in Middle East, and also in India, my friends who are wonderful support. I praise God for each one of them. Small groups, every time I meet with small groups, they bring a lot of insights and wisdom to various issues and challenges that we face on a daily basis. Friends, colleagues, small groups, leaders and members, and above all, neighbors. Thank you, God, for all these wonderful people. Friends, uh, I invite you uh, to spend some time this weekend. Name these people specifically and give thanks to God for each one of them. If possible, name them and give thanks to God. And also in the past eight months of the year 2022, if you can, Specifically, write down the gifts, the graces, the positive and constructive attitude that you have developed and God has bestowed on each one of you. What gifts or graces, attitudes that you have experienced during the past eight months? Who have you been particularly grateful for? People who have walked with you, encouraged you, supported you, and said thank you to you, have recognized your skills and abilities. Remember those people and give thanks to God. Yes, going back to Paul's words, Dwell in the words of Christ richly, not superficially, richly. Teach one another with all your wisdom and admonish them, challenge them. Spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts. Giving thanks to God, the Father, all the time. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this day and all the days of our life. Thank you for the gifts and graces that you have showered upon each one of us this past eight months. I'm sure that you have stored some gifts and graces and attitudes that will come upon us in the days and months and weeks to come. Thank you for the people who have extended all kinds of support in times of need. We give you thanks for each one of them, individually and sometimes a whole family has extended support, given us the encouragement. Yes, Lord, we pray for those who are in need at this time and grant them what they need, give them what they need, shower upon each one of them your blessings, the divine blessings, the blessings from above, showers of blessing that we need. Thank you for the month of September, lead us and guide us and grant us what we need. 
And this weekend is a Labor Day weekend. We remember people who, who continue to labor, who work. Sometimes people who are working in two jobs and three jobs for the sustenance of the families. Grant them, O Lord, your grace and strength. There are people who are still looking for job opportunities. Bless them, O Lord, with such opportunities. And long weekend, um, uh, people are uh, traveling to different places to be with their families and friends and relatives. Grant them travel mercies. We pray for school and college going children and their parents and their teachers and their schools and their communities. Bless them, O Lord, and grant them what they need. Gracious God, we pray that you would uh, continue to lead us. You are always our good shepherd, great shepherd, gracious shepherd. Yes, Lord. Giving thanks to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit all the time. Fill us, O oh Lord, a thankful spirit, a spirit of gratitude. Help us, O Lord, to sing the spiritual songs with thankfulness. We give you all glory and honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me um, at this hour. And God be with all of us till we meet again next Friday. Bye now.